hello everyone in this session we will be doing a clock so to start with we will uh, draw our design on the clock so we have learned a lot of motifs so we will i have drawn a fish four fishes i have drawn and in the center i have uh, created the uh, circles for the fl floral pattern right so i'll just uh, finish uh, the outlining i am doing it with a bamboo stick so first of all i will create the borders on both the uh, edges so you can see i am creating the borders so i am not creating any design if you want to create you can definitely go for it then i am creating this floral pattern so if you want to be very particular you can uh, just draw all the circles uh, with the help of compass so your lines will come perfect now i will start with the fish so i am just outlining the fish first of all with the black ink
now i have done with all the flowers and the fishes so i will fill the spaces with uh, the stems and leaves and few more motifs you can see so see i am doing the stems and leaves and few more uh, floral motifs what we have done in our practice sheet I have also drawn a floral motif in the center you can see and you can fill um, the background as much as dense you wish to fill it so now we will start with the coloring so for coloring we are using the drawing inks the camel uh, perm, uh, waterproof drawing inks and I am doing first of all the yellow color so what you can do you can just uh, take a little bit of water like if you are taking a few drops of uh, ink then you can take uh, like if you are taking uh, 10 drops of uh, ink then you can uh, take 5 drops of water also it makes it very easy also don't dip the complete brush in the ink and work with the tip of the brush for the flowers I am doing uh, the darker on the outer outline and then I will just take the water and mix it or I can just blend it with water so it will give a type of shades. I will show you e uh, each and every part how I am doing. I am I will not complete uh, in the tutorial the complete flower but I will show that it's darker on the outer side and then I am just taking the water and blending it with water so do uh, two three leaves at once otherwise the ink will um, get dried up Similarly in green I have uh, taken a green on the outer side and then I am just blending it with the water inside. So if you feel uh, to keep the uh, color a bit darker inside you can take less of water otherwise uh, you can just create an outline and uh, take the br uh, water in the brush and just blend it with the water.
in the stem i am just filling the brown color in these leaves the round ones i have taken green and it is the emerald green and yellow and it will give us a beautiful leaf green or a light green color so you can also play with your own combinations it's absolutely just exploring the art and you can definitely play with your own combinations you can go with your color combinations So I have put a dropped some ink on my fish so I have just cleaned it immediately and in the face I am taking orange as outline and inside the face what I will do I will uh, dilute the yellow color right so I am doing orange outline and I will just dilute the yellow color and blend it in the face uh, similarly i will do in the fins also so you see i have diluted the yellow color and i am just blending orange and yellow to give a shaded effect In the body I am taking the pink color so I will make it darker from the outside or the outlines and just blend it with water or a very watery pink color from the inside of the body. So here I am using the mauve or the purple color. So I am just trying to create a balance between the dark and the bright colors and the light colors. So you can definitely work as per your choice of colors and also your choice of motifs. It's not necessary that you have to make the fish only. You can go with all the floral patterns. You can make peacock. You can make... Uh, elephant you can make the faces so definitely it's your choice uh, of motives and colors what you want to use but if uh, it you are doing it for the first time and you just like to follow my um, motives definitely you can go for this 
also i will be sharing the pdf of all the uh, motives Likewise, you can complete the whole painting and I am doing red color in the border. In the base, I have also uh, created some more motifs because I don't want to color the base and I'll just color them up. After finishing the coloring, leave it for uh, a night. So leave it overnight. Then we will use the clear synthetic varnish. You will get it uh, in 50 rupees uh, bottle packing uh, you can get it it is from asian paints i will share the link and the photo of all the materials so take a thick brush apply a coat of varnish on this and after applying the coat see i am just taking the varnish and applying it on the complete uh, clock so it will be a little pale but it gives an authentic look and while using the water based uh, varnish the color sometimes bleeds so I will suggest to use this clear synthetic varnish.
so our clock is ready now i will put uh, tell you how to put the machine so this is a machine you can get from the market now there is a uh, like this metal uh, uh, round thing we will uh, fix it here and from the back we will just uh, take this machine and we will just re rotate it and it will get tight so you can fix it very easily see it will just tighten up and then uh, on the top you will get a place to fix all your needles the r needle the uh, second needle uh, and the minute hand so you can fix the minute and uh, r hand first of all from the top you can fix the second needle see so our clock is ready